What's up guys, Nukin here, and I'm back with another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video. We have a special guest for you. We have a treat. We have Sir Georges. He, if you haven't heard about him, he is the guy that refined the Big Mix team. He took out Han Solo. He put Asajj Ventress. He calls it the ABC Squad. You may have heard of him, Sir Georges. How are you, dude? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Happy to talk about Vader and Wampa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. So Sir Georges is a member of the Republic like myself, and he is a YouTuber. If you haven't subscribed to him already, be sure to do so. The link will be in the description, one of the first links. We're going to talk about Zader and Wampa in the tank raid, and they're no gimmick. They're super strong. Zader's making a comeback. Yeah. and. We're going to be talking about the history of the team, about Zader, and also about the big mix sort of ABC squads and how they've kind of melded together to make this new, we're calling it, what are we calling it? The Wampanator? <laughs> Wampanator. The Wampanator. Wah, wah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the history <laughs> of the teams in the raid. We're going to talk about the mods for this team specifically. We're going to talk about the techniques and strategy for the team how this team has some auto potential and the future of where this team can go so without further yeah. ado let's get into some theory crafting about the wampanator all right so before we get to talking about this team specifically it's important to kind of understand where we got here so let's really quickly do a brief history of the tank raid and then talk about how two teams, two tank raid teams, were formed and then blended together to come together to show the Wampa Zader in action here. So when the tank raid came out, it was very difficult, right? Do you remember so how hard. the guilds, the goal was what? To get 2% or something in the tank yeah. raid? Yeah, do your percentage of the, if you can get your part, your 2%. And everybody was wanting it nerfed, saying it was so hard. It was impossible mm -hmm. that we'd ever beat it. Yeah, it, I think it actually ended up getting nerfed in the normal mode, but not the heroic yeah. version. Yeah. And then Zetas came out, and then Darth Vader became a, a, a sort of a team that you could grind for with yeah. Ewok Elder and Tuscan Shaman. Do you remember how frustrating that team was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes everything could go right, and you have a 2.5 million score. Other times you get like a 800k, because... They kill Ewok Elder at two enrages in, or two topples in. Yeah. So difficult. Yeah, so I think Denzo G ended up making that squad, and I actually did a video on it like 10 or 12 months ago. It's such a long time ago. And that team was pretty good. If it worked, it, it was beautiful. If not, it kind of went out <laughs> with a fire. Thrawn came out in May and kind of improved the squad. You took out Ewok yeah. Elder and you put in Thrawn, but it was still sort of missing something. And then in August, we got Commander Luke, and he kind of changed the raid. He improved... Changed everything. Yeah, he, cha he changed the <laughs> Rancor. He changed, he changed the arena. He changed everything. Um, he improved the, the IGM team that McMull did, and I, and I kind of refined that with Commander Luke. And then he created uh, the Brotini team that I did a video on. And That's then BB-8 came into the game. And we want to talk a little bit about BB-8, Sir George's. Yeah, BB-8, such an interesting, such a fun character, because you basically think he's doing nothing, but then he helps everyone else out so much that they get these huge numbers in the end. Yeah, he's like the ultimate tank raid support character, I think. And he also helps with giving everyone potency. It's often forgotten, but that boost in potency really helps in applying Yeah, the secret intel buff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so BB-8 and CLS kind of changed things. And actually, let's start talking about the other team that is blended, that, that ended up being blended into this Zader Wampa team here. All right, so let's start talking about the other squad that kind of blends in with what we're calling the Wampanator. Sir Georges, walk us through what you're calling the ABC squad that you did a video on about in November a few months back. Yeah. So, back in October when the Night Sisters got the rework, Asajj, already one of my favorite characters because he really helps early in the game, 
she got her unique to where every death brings a stacking offense and crit chance. Anytime there's stacking on a character, you need to be taking note of that. Point in case would be Wampa with his mm -hmm. stacking. And so I saw the potential for huge amounts of damage in the raid, just trying to figure out a team that could, would go well around it. Then the Admiral Akbar lead with Thrawn and BB-8 and CLS. I felt like that was a good place that I could put Asajj in. So I started messing with it, was able to get some huge numbers, like over 200k on a basic in phase 4, over 100k on basic and in phase 3. And that was a very effective squad, and Thrawn, CLS, and BB-8 have some very good synergy together. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is we're taking basically the core of that squad, Thrawn, CLS, and BB-8, and we're putting it here on the Wampanator squad. And around late December and early January, people started unlocking seven-star Hermit Yodas and getting their seven-star Wampas and started really pushing some boundaries in the tank raid. And you may have seen a video from Lollander, and I'll probably link that in the description as well, that is basically showcasing this team and what we're doing here is we're taking that team concept and we're taking all these team concepts together and basically refining it to do some remarkable things in the tank raid. So let's start talking about the team now specifically. Let's get into the mods. So Sir Georges and I, we're going to go over the mod set recommendations for this team and some stats to strive for. You can take a look here. I'm going to display the specific mods that I used in this battle. But we're going to go over some recommendations, so optimally you want to use these types of mods. So let's start covering the team here. Let's start off with their leader, Darth Vader. So for Darth Vader, this is coming from the core of the Elder Zader team here. And for Darth Vader, you do want to run a crit damage set and a two-piece crit chance set. And you want to strive for getting him really fast, get his speed up there, get his crit chance up, and making sure he has maximum crit damage. Mr. So Georges, you want to add yeah. anything to that? Yeah, the reason you want a lot of speed is because you want to get as many culling blades as you can. Mm -hmm. Being able to squeeze in even just one more culling blade could be another 1 million, 2 million damage that he does. Mm -hmm. And you definitely want crit chance because it's very disappointing when he throws that blade and he gets red numbers and <laughs> half yeah. the damage that he should have. <laughs> Because with the buffs from BB-8 and his mods, you're looking at going from 100% to like 150 or 250% damage for that final number if he gets a critical hit. Mm -hmm. You're missing out probably millions of damage if you're not critting with Darth Vader, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so perfect. And then for Wampa, who's other, the other part of the core, uh, he he kind of replaces Tuscan Shaman and on the Elder Zader team for him. We want to do a crit damage set and a two-piece potency set. And you're looking for maximizing his crit damage and getting him fast, get his speed up there, and making sure his potency is high. What do you want to add yeah. to that? Wampa is the main way you're going to get dots on the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so you want him to go in as much as possible and to have the potency to land the dots because it'll help give him bigger damage numbers and give Vader bigger damage numbers. Mm -hmm. The reason why you don't want crit chance for his second set is because his Furious Foe ability will quickly give him 100% crit chance. So you don't need any on your secondaries or any for your sets. Yeah, exactly. So running a two-piece crit chance set would be a complete waste on a character like Wampa because of his second special. Uh, so perfect. Yeah. So let's start talking about the core of the ABC squad that comes into play here on the Wampanator team. Let's talk about Thrawn. For Thrawn, we recommend running a speed set and a two-piece crit chance set. Uh, the speed set is basically mandatory. You could run, you know, a two-piece health set or something like that, but you definitely want him to go very fast. What do you think, Sir Georges? Yeah. A speed set is very helpful on Thrawn since his base speed is 150, so you're getting plus 15 speed with that mm -hmm. set. And the crit chance is just to help give him some more damage from the few times that he attacks. The three characters here from the ABC squad, the strategy remains pretty much the same, and so the usage and modding of them is pretty much the same as well. We tried using a slow Thrawn, 
uh, Nukin and I, and mm. it just wasn't as effective. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take our word for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, perfect. So that's Thrawn for CLS, Commander Luke Skywalker. Uh, we recommend running a speed set with a two-piece potency set. We want to get his speed really high and uh, a little bit of potency to make sure he is uh, basically landing some of those debuffs. Uh, what do you think yeah. about that? Besides his very useful turn meter reduction in phase three of the raid, mm -hmm. his It Binds All Things gives the whole team turn meter for each debuff he lands. So mm -hmm. that's one of the key parts to him being part of the team, is giving more turns to Vader and Wampa. All three of these characters pretty much are just trying to enable larger numbers from Vader and Wampa. Yeah. And lastly, we have the soccer ball droid BB-8 on the team. He is a really good support character on these tank raid teams. Uh, we recommend giving him a speed set with a two-piece health set. And we recommend getting his speed up there, making him really fast, and giving him some protection to make sure that he's nice and tanky. What do you think about that, Sir Georges? Yeah, so BB-8, he will rarely ever attack and if you ever choose to have him attack. And so any kind of mods that go for offense or any kind of damage, totally wasted on him. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're just going to want to go with speed and ways to keep him alive longer. Mm -hmm. Make sure that he doesn't die in phase three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Phase three can get tricky in trying to make sure you win before the enrage. Yep. All right, so that covers all the mods for the team. Let's get into some of the technique and strategy. All right, so let's get into some strategy here. So we have a few tips, some for each character. So these are some tips that if you follow these, you'll be more successful in the tank raid. So let's start off talking about Thrawn. So with Thrawn, you wanna give the turn meter from his second special ability to either Zader or Wampa. It's situational. And with Thrawn, you also wanna make sure that you're fracturing the main hall. So Georges, you wanna tell them why? Yeah, with Vader, as we talked about with the mods, having cooling blade go off as much as possible is very mm -hmm. beneficial. If Thrawn can mm -hmm. help him get one more blade off, especially during a topple, that can mean million, two million damage just for that one extra cooling blade. If yep. you, if Vader isn't close though, you do want to swap with Wampa so he can get more dots in and just deal his huge amounts of damage. Fracture you want as much as possible on the main hole because it halves the speed. And so that'll give you more turns to get hits in from the other characters, more time to attack before enrage, just get it in there as much as possible. Now when it comes to Wampa, what you're going to want to do is squeeze as many hits in on the hole with his basic as you can, and whenever the side turrets or side droids are up, use his AoE to whack them away. And why is that, Nukin? Yeah, so Wampa kind of takes the place of what the Tuscan Shaman used to be. You want to squeeze in as many dots, damage over time debuffs, on the main hall as you possibly can. So that's his main purpose. The more dots that are on the main hall, the more damage that the culling blade is gonna do and the more damage Wampa is actually gonna do mm -hmm. on his basic. And then uh, for Wampa as well, you want to make sure that you're toppling the tank. You don't wanna miss any topples. If you miss any, you probably won't even solo phase two. And so you wanna make sure that you're destroying all the turrets and the best way to do that is just with one big Wampa smack. So uh, let's get into Zader now. So for, for Darth Vader, you want to make sure that you're using his specials whenever they are available. Uh, do you want to tell them why? Yeah, with Vader, you want to use both of his specials because you're trying to get as many dots as the enemies as you can because it makes mm -hmm. him and Wampa stronger. The dots never go away with the Zeta. And you're wanting to use his Culling Blade as much as possible because that is his main way to get damage. He'll have equal damage at the end of the battle to Wampa, and it's not because of his basics or um, AoE special. It's all from that culling blade dealing huge amounts of damage. Nice, yeah. And for Commander Luke, you also want to use as many specials as possible, 
and also for BB-8. Do you want to tell them why about that as well? Yeah. So Luke and BB-8, their main function is just to help the rest of the teammates, and BB-8's sole use is getting Illuminated Destiny off, giving all those buffs and the bonus turn meter to everybody else. The way for that to happen is if the rest of the team is using specials, which is why for CLS, just go ahead and use all of his specials as much as you can. When you get to the end of the battle, you'll see that all three characters of Thrawn, CLS, and BB-8, they really don't do any damage comparatively to the others. And so mm. don't worry about trying to keep Commander Luke in attack stance or anything like that. Just use specials, get Illuminated Destiny off, and watch Vader and Wampa get stronger and stronger. Yeah. It's funny how, how Commander Luke, who's usually this big bad boy yeah. attacker, is more of a support character on this team. <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting. <laughs> All right, so those were some tips on the strategy of how to be successful on the team. Let's talk a little bit about Phase 3 and Phase 4. So getting into Phase 3, I like to go on manual until I've killed all the side droids at least. Nukin has had a bit more success on hitting auto and just letting it roll. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm lucky, but uh, in this specific clip here, I hit auto at uh, right at 99%. So uh, if you want to be on the safe side, try and do a little bit of manual to stack up some dots and maybe kill the side droids. Or if you're feeling uh, super confident like I guess I was, just hit auto right at the very <laughs> beginning. Yeah, I'd also recommend that you keep an eye on the Enrage timer. Because one of the runs mm. that I was attempting, I just hit auto and let it go. Since, like Nukin, I had no problem the time before. But then there was five yeah. turns left to Enrage and 50% <laughs> of the enemy left. And he ended up killing me at 6%. You know, it, it's it's pretty hard uh, being this good. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> I can't just hit auto and let the computer do it for me all the time. Ugh. Okay, so let's move into phase four. All right, so we finally made it to the final phase. This is phase four. Phase four is very similar to phase two. It's probably a little bit easier than phase two and definitely can be taken down very quickly. On manual play on this clip, I was able to beat this phase in about eight minutes on manual. And I think, I believe, that you can auto this phase. Weren't you, were you able to auto this phase, Sir Georges? Yeah, I did from beginning to end just to see how it would turn out. And the AI is pretty smart with Wampa, where they target the B2s and the turrets before attacking the hole. So yeah, it never really came up that it would mess up the... The, the Wampa AI is great. Uh, so yeah. you're looking at probably, you know, four or five minutes or maybe six minutes max to solo this phase on, on auto and another six minutes for phase three auto solo so pretty convenient that this team has a lot of auto potential and uh, being able to solo all these phases and actually speaking of solos yeah i i may have figured out how to solo the whole raid wait you've been hiding stuff for me <laughs> what can i say i'm a boss I've pretty much beaten the game. <laughs> Moving on to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 2. Oh, you're, you're playing Galaxy of Heroes 2 before all of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's super fun. So here's the scoop, guys. Uh, we were both working on, on this team, and we decided to start collaborating on it. And while we were collaborating, uh, you know, Mr. Overachiever over here decided <laughs> that he was going to solo the whole tank raid. The whole thing so we have <laughs> we have an overachiever <laughs> we decided to keep to just you know keep the collaboration and i hope that everyone you know enjoys this video so actually what you need to do right now is to give this video a thumbs up and make sure if you're new here to subscribe to my channel and then go to the description the video description and the very first link should be sir george's channel subscribe to him because later in the week he's going to show and release the footage of him clearing the entire raid with this team that's right one team so it should be up later in the week be sure to check that out 
anyways, so I hope everyone enjoys this video, and uh, let's 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 wrap it up here. So this has been Nukin. This is Sergi. Signing out. All Cheers. right. Cheers, guys. find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right This is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't ballin' yet. Hoes wanna holler? Oh no, I don't call them back, girl. Let me see you hold it down. We gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. I know what's up. You can have it all. Watch me rip it off. I'll admit it. You got me. Then I'm watching my run. You never go out to the run. You make a pillow, you're done. The killers understand.